Friends, have you ever wanted to create something that was really special, something you could be proud of, but people didn't seem to understand? Well, then you could relate to my friend Gustav Eiffel, who, of course, created the Eiffel Tower. In the 1880s, when it was decided that they would have the World's Fair Exposition here in Paris, the committee wanted to get someone who would build something that would be monumental, a landmark that would be powerful, tall, enduring. And so they called Gustav Eiffel. Building the tower was going to be a monumental task. It would require 300 workers, 18,038 pieces of wrought iron, 2.5 million rivets, and 10,000 tons of steel. The final structure would be 1,060 feet tall. The cost of the project would not be cheap either. It would be 8 million francs. Today, that would be 40 million US dollars. And you really need to appreciate what a tall structure it was in its day. Up until the Eiffel Tower, the tallest man-made structure in the world was the Great Pyramid of Cheops, which held the record for over 3,000 years. But then the Eiffel Tower became the tallest man-made structure in the world, and it held the record for 41 years until the Chrysler Building was built in New York City. Gustav Eiffel was very proud of the design. He thought it was symmetrical, it was tall, it was enduring, it was strong. But when the Parisians saw the tower go up, they said, Sacre bleu! They absolutely hated it because it did not match any of the other Parisian architecture. They thought it stood out like a sore thumb. The exposition officials quieted down the Parisian people, promising that the tower would never stand more than 20 years. But you know, temporary things have a way of becoming permanent. The people began to insist that the tower be taken down and be destroyed and used as scrap. But fortunately, about the same time, the aviation industry began to blossom. Did you know that the Eiffel Tower was actually used as a docking station for blimps and zeppelins? An aircraft could see the new electric beacon that was flashing on the summit. Also, the tower proved to be a perfect location for a radio antenna for the military that sealed the deal, saving the iconic Eiffel Tower as a national landmark. Because the Eiffel Tower is made of steel, it expands on warm days. It actually gets seven inches taller in the summer. In the evenings, the Eiffel Tower is even more beautiful. There's a light show every hour on the hour where 20,000 lights flash and illuminate the city in a spectacular fashion. Like a lighthouse in the middle of Paris, in the evening, the top of the tower is crowned with a beautiful rotating beacon. Today, the Parisian people would never dream of taking down the Eiffel Tower. In part, everything changed during World War II when Adolf Hitler showed up in the city and he commanded that the tower be dismantled. The people were so outraged, they cut the elevator cables, forcing the German soldiers to walk up and down the 1,710 steps. Well, that took so much time that the war began to turn before they could dismantle the tower. So the Eiffel Tower that was originally scheduled to only last about 20 years has now lasted over 130 years. It's really incredible when you realize that when Gustav Eiffel first unveiled the design the Parisian people, they were so outraged. And now it has become the most popular monument in the world for which people pay to actually go in. Over seven million people a year come to visit the Eiffel Tower. And it is now the most easily recognizable icon in the world. So when people criticize your creative work and something you want to do that will endure and last, remember Gustav Eiffel. You know, friends, this reminds us as Christians, sometimes you may not be appreciated when you decide to follow Jesus. You may stand out among your friends and family like a sore thumb. But if you're faithful and you abide, eventually they'll come to appreciate you. You know, the Bible tells us in Proverbs that the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run into it and they are safe. And Jesus also says, though you may be hated by all nations for my namesake, he that stands tall to the end, he will be saved. So if you ever get discouraged because you think people don't accept or appreciate you because of your decision for Christ, stand firm and remember the Eiffel Tower. Check out some of our other videos on the Amazing Facts channel. And don't forget to subscribe right there. Do it now.